Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. Uh, today the time has come for another wine unboxing. This is a wine list, my second box of wine list. Uh, this is more like an education uh, type of box. Uh, it contains two premium wines, one red and one white, and some learning material uh, so that you actually can find out something about like how to taste wines, how to all the stuff about wines pretty much uh this box costs around 40 pounds i will let the details uh down in the description box i also have a discount code from the previous box so i'll post it down there too uh and uh, yeah before we start with this unboxing uh let me just ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our uh, content um yeah enough talking let's have a look what's inside so the wines come wrapped up like this and let's have a quick look at what we have this month okay so the red one is it's actually not like very intense red color it's more like a uh, pinkish or maybe it's with a bottle i don't know this is a uh, cara Susi, i think uh, and this is tinto de rivadavia where is it from is it it's from argentina so argentinian wine uh, last time we have uh the red both wines were spanish this one this time we have a, an argentinian one and the other one is masaya from lebanon that's actually cool i don't think i've ever tried middle eastern wine that's very interesting so yeah these are the wines of this month so let's have a closer look at them so in the envelope you get your monthly uh, portion of knowledge in this booklet this one is about skin contact i assume this might be like a grape skin uh, thing i guess it must be yeah uh, so a little bit about that here and then you get in some information about those wines uh, and also like you have like the whole chart thing uh, you can actually use your uh, newly acquired knowledge uh, to uh, you know check the aroma profile and um, flavors and everything characteristics so that's quite cool so I'm going to start with a white wine and uh, this one is Masaya White from 2018, the country Lebanon, uh, region Mount Lebanon. And if you like this one, uh, you should also like uh, White Rioja. So the booklet says, this is a medium to full bodied white showing off mineral aromas as well as prominent lashing of white flowers and lemons. I'm not a massive fan of flowery flavors in wine so i'm not really sure we'll see uh with background hints of honey this is very nice this is very nice okay wonderful color crisp but with great body great food pairing seafood heavy pasta would work really well here even with a touch of chili given the body that's interesting okay so i'm not going to give you more information about that in case you actually want to uh try uh, it by yourself and learn something and this is like in the cool stuff um, but it actually gives you quite a lot of information about um, uh, the grape and region uh, local food pairing winemaker story uh, there is some trivia even so yeah that's quite cool so the white wine this time isn't corked uh, which makes things much easier okay let's have a try um not chilled uh, it will be but you know I just I'm just going to try it uh, just in a room temperature and that should be fine too there is this flowery note uh, as I mentioned before I'm not a fan uh, of that type of white wines like white wines are usually much more difficult for me than red wines red wines are like just I just like like red wine white wine is uh, a bit tricky but yeah let's try no, it doesn't smell that bad, but you know that that uh, that flowery note is actually there. It's not bad. It's not. I mean, don't mind my face, but like, <laughs> it's not bad. Um, no, it's actually not bad. It's very crisp. It's dry. Uh, 
it's actually something I will surely enjoy. I mean, I was a little bit, I was a little bit like skeptic about this like uh, flowery note, but it's not the one I actually hate. It's something. This one is very, very crisp, uh, very like non-bothering. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely a good wine. I like that one. There's also a fun fact I found in this booklet. Um, I mean, you know, I don't know if it's a fun fact, it's just a fact, I guess, but I never knew that there were like orange wines too. I knew about white, pink and red ones, uh, but I didn't know there, were, there was something like orange wine, which is white grapes, uh, which have been made with the skins left after the initial press. That's, that's quite cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever try, tried orange wine. So the red one, Cara Susia, uh, this is from, from Dori Gutti family, 2019, Argentina, uh, region is uh, Rivadavia, Mendoza. So you never guess this is from Argentina. If you think of Mendoza as uh, Panchi Malbec, I usually do, this will surprise. I mean, they do surprise, I mean, quite a lot, because, you know, with Spanish wine, I actually uh, choose Rioja. Um, Argentinian wines, I usually think Malbec, but they try to, like, uh, surprise me all the time. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, light and fresh, crunchy red currants, red cherries, and hints of strawberry. Uh, definite tannic bite on the palate, but nothing aggressive. Would see it being lightly chilled. I haven't chilled any of those wines because, you know, I wanted to take a proper unboxing and do it with you. So, oh, well, I'll just chill them both and try them once again after, like, this video is uh, done. Uh, and uh, food pairing here, the lighter flavors here won't call for hearty dishes. Instead, try vegetarian-led food or smoky cured meats even thrown over the barbecue. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, so let's try. Another interesting thing I read is just if you like this wine, you should actually try Beaujolais Novo, which is quite surprising. Uh, Beaujolais Novo is actually uh, a French new wine. Uh, there is a celebration uh, of new wine in, I think it's um, November. October, I think it's November. Uh, and they just celebrate new wine. They drink Beaujolais Novo. And it's like a nice tradition. Uh, and you can actually buy Beaujolais Novo in UK and other European countries for like ridiculous price. I mean, it's not super expensive, but it's like far from being cheap when you just compare it to its uh, real worth. Uh, but yeah. If I like this, I might try Beaujolais Novo. Let's try. It's a very interesting color. It's not like a deep ruby red. It's just like a little bit pinkish, I would say. That's interesting. I can smell strawberries. Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, this is very delicate. I'm just trying to check uh, how strong this is because I just honestly don't know. This is a very, very delicate wine. I mean, like almost like juice. Or like some, yeah, I mean, that's so weird. I, th I don't think I've ever tried anything like that. Could be actually like Beaujolais Novel because it has this like, uh, I think I, I don't know how strong that is. I, I have no idea. It just tastes like there's no alcohol, to be honest. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't really. Um, I don't really. I can't really say it's tonic. It just has this quality of like a new wine, so I kind of get uh, where it comes from. But I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite red wine so far. It's just different. It just tastes like wine with water. Very, very delicate. Okay, I found the information about the alcohol um, content in that. It's 12.7%. It kind of explains a lot. Uh, this is not uh, like a, a super dried wine. Uh, it's just like a very delicate one. It's okay. It's like, If you don't like wine, you might actually like this one because it's not very whiny. Uh, whiny, <laughs> yeah. So these are the two wines that I got this month. I mean, it's quite cool. I actually got them uh, in June because they're like very summery wines. Uh, I think they both will be perfect for like really nice, uh, warm summer evening. But the weather is the way it is. Uh, but 
I mean, I did enjoy this box, to be honest. Uh, I need to just cool them down a little bit and then try them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's like a little bit of knowledge and you can just try different wines and you might not like like all of them, but at least you learn to like just try new flavors and you might actually find something you, you love. Uh, so that white wine, which is like a bit floral, I didn't expect to like it, but here it is. I actually prefer the white one this month than the red one. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button and also please remember to subscribe to our channel too if you haven't done that yet. Uh, so thank you again for watching and see ya!